the title of today's video from Joel's Place at Oasis Auckland is Become the Best You. What do you excel at personally? What areas in your life do you need to improve? Start paying attention to the things you embrace and the things you avoid. That gives you a good understanding of your strengths and weaknesses. Pay attention to these areas. They can help you know what to improve and develop or what to let go. This approach can have a positive impact on your life and contentment to become the best you. Now we have a special request to you. Please subscribe to our channel. Please also tell your family and friends. Subscribe and share this video. It's completely free. As you grow and move into different ages in your life, you change. You transition. When you were a child, you were understood as a child thought as a child, but when an adult, you put away childish things. At earlier stages and ages, what were your thoughts, interests, drives, values and self-concept, your abilities, talents and emotions? If you think about it, you can trace how your characteristics and behaviour has changed. Take your strengths with you into life and leave the weaknesses behind you as you travel your journey of destiny. With the help and presence of God in your life, you can become strong. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 34. God often manifests the fullness of His power when you are weak. He gives you grace to cope and be courageous and come through hard, dark times. Become the best you. You might have a physical weakness and God gives you the grace to bear it. The weakness keeps you humble and manifests the strength of Christ in your life as a testimony and a witness to all. What looks like a liability turns out to be an asset. 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7. You came into this world to be an asset to yourself and to those whom you touch. As we progress in years, we leave behind us those things that are unworthy of our attention views, feelings and plans which we had and held as so important, so wise and valuable when we were young. We take responsibility for our actions, we become sensitive and considerate towards others. We gain the ability to change and adapt to circumstances. We add value to ourselves and to those around us. How do you stack in those areas? Becoming the best you can be. Do not try to be better than others are. Just strive to be your best self. Become the best you. Yes, God alone knows you intimately and understands everything about you. We all have weaknesses that we must work on to strengthen our personalities and character. God helps weak people to do great things. Moses was a person who stammered, but God used him and gave him the courage to confront Pharaoh and to lead the children of Israel. Peter, he denied Jesus three times, but was the key disciple to establish the Christian church. James and John couldn't stay awake when Jesus asked them to pray in the garden, yet they were at the forefront in the early Christian church. Become the best you. Trying to turn weakness into strength but to overcome a weakness is not what you can do on your own and you can't do it very easily. You need the help of God who created you to strengthen your strengths and turn and diminish your weaknesses away from your personality and character profile. Prayer is the best way for the power and strength you need to become the best you. Check to see where weaknesses lie in your nature, like greed, intolerance, lying, arrogance, egoism, and pride. Do they feature in your profile? What are some characteristics of strengths that promote your journey to your best self? In the sermon Jesus preached on the mount, Jesus taught the message of love, compassion, selflessness, to love our enemies, forgive, to care for the marginalized. Jesus taught to seek first the kingdom of God, become the best you. The apostle Paul 
gives us guidance on how believers should live with self-discipline, control, remaining strong in the faith and helping each other to choose the way of Christ and stay accountable to God. In these ways, your conduct and behavior gains the approval of God and you will gain favor. You'll gain favor with permanent, pertinent people around you. In the work situation, you have to strive to be self-disciplined and dutiful. Some people are high on these qualities and some not so. If you are someone who is not agreeable, then that can be your impact on your career and unfavorability. Remember, just a small weakness in your character or personality or ideas can be used by others to harm you. Your strong points advance your progress and enable you to help others reach higher heights in their lives. Become the best you. You can begin to know the extent of your abilities, your limits and your relevance in social and in the progress scale. Examine yourself to know your individuality, to know your motivations and your perspectives. Of course, how you see yourself might be different to how others see you. We cannot control how others feel about us or treat us or think about us. What matters is how you feel about yourself. What matters for the believer in God and the follower of Jesus Christ is how God sees you. Become the best you. As believers in God and followers of Jesus Christ, we are precious and honored in God's eyes. The Holy Spirit of God leads us. God looks not on your outward appearance, but looks at your heart. You are a new person. The old has passed away and the new has come. God has a purpose for you. and He will navigate your life towards fulfilling that purpose. So become the best you. Be strong and be courageous. God is with you. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. If you do not believe in Jesus Christ, we invite you to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Just say the simple prayer to accept Him and follow Him. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please forgive me for my sin and accept me into your kingdom. I want to follow Jesus Christ from this day. Give me faith to believe in Him and courage to confess Him as my Lord and Savior. I ask and pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We say welcome. Perhaps there was a time when you were a follower of Jesus Christ. Over time, you have grown cold and distant and have separated yourself from the Christian faith and from Jesus. We invite you to come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Just pray the simple prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, forgive me. Let your love reach out to me and restore me to the family of God in Christ Jesus. I rededicate my life to you. In the name of your Son, Jesus, and I say, Amen. Here's looking forward to being in your company again next week. Until then, love and blessings from all of us at Joel's Place at Oasis Auckland.